Good afternoon. It's Ansela coming to you live for our emotional healing series. This is actually part three, where we interview our special guest, Lori Hargis, registered aromatherapist from Paris, France. I'm sorry, not Paris. She's in the south of France. <laughs> I always want to say that like there's no other city in Paris. I mean in France, but Paris, right? So before we invite Lori on, just a little bit about myself. Um, my name's Ansela Ramsey. I'm a holistic hair care specialist, and I am certified in uh, the use of authentic essential oils. Welcome. I see Lori joined the, the broadcast. We're going to invite her in in just a minute. Um, so... I have been focusing on wellness and bringing wellness to my community, and in my efforts to do that, I have connected with one of the brilliant minds of aromatherapy, Miss Lori Hargis, from, as I said, from France, and we have been doing a series um, letting people know about the link between emotional healing and uh, essential oils and flower essences. So this is part three, and our focus will be on anxiety. Um, so last month we talked about stress and tension and how we can use essential oils to help calm and relax, letting go of stress and tension. So today we'll talk about anxiety. Do any of you suffer from anxiety? Do you know anyone that does? Hit those likes and loves for me if you, are, you or someone you know suffers from anxiety. We're going to delve a little bit more into exactly what anxiety is. So please think about your questions that you want to ask Lori at the end of our live stream. You can post them right in the comment box along with your email and that way we can be sure to get you an answer even if we're not able to address your question right here during the Facebook Live. Okay? We're going to send a Q&A PDF file for you to receive by the end of next week. All those who post questions in the comment box. So don't hesitate to ask whatever you want to ask about this topic. Also, please share this with your friends who are suffering from anxiety so we can get this out to as many people as possible. So today, Lori's going to talk about anxiety and how we can use essential oils and flower essences. So let's bring her in to the broadcast. So we're inviting, inviting, inviting. Hopefully she can get right on in with no problem. So up there, she, she's connecting now. Hi there, Lori. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Doing great, how are you? Good, good. It's beautiful here in sunny California. I'm here on vacation. That's right, you're, <laughs> you're stateside right now, right? <laughs> I'm stateside and I'm having a great time. Good for you, good for you. So let me tell everyone a little bit about you. Lori is- Thank um, you. Yes, absolutely. She's a registered aromatherapist, certified flower essence practitioner, and has practiced holistic health for over 29 years, is certified in nutrition, iridology, and kinesiology. She's an international teacher of aromatherapy, has founded and developed two aromatherapy companies in the U.S. and France. She's also founded and developed the Lori Hargis International School of Aromatherapy, teaching online courses for students. She acts as a consultant for leading natural health and wellness company, she lives in the south of France with her husband, a longtime distiller and youngest daughter, on an organic farm where lavender, thyme, sage, and rosemary are grown and distilled for essential oils and hydrosols. And every time I read that, I'm like, I must get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and every time you read it, I say, you must come. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> she is passionate about teaching others to access the natural healing powers of essential oils to enhance their own health and well-being and that of their families. Welcome once again to part three of our wonderful series, Emotional Healing with Essential Oils and Flower Essences. So tell us, what can we, what can we expect today? <laughs> well, you know, um, I really appreciate you having me on this live streaming. It's, it's wonderful to be able to do this and get the information out to so many people about how we can use essential oils and flower essences for emotional challenges that we have. And I find that uh, the, long, the more that we're doing this series, the more I'm finding out this information about how we really can uh, help ourselves with essential oils and flower essences. You know, there's uh, so many people now that are suffering from anxiety in the United States. 18%, I believe it is. Right, exactly. And that's 18% uh, is how many million people? 
it is 40 million, approximately 40 million adults between the ages of 18 to 54. And that's yeah. in the U.S. alone. Yeah. And when I looked at the statistics uh, in the U.K., uh, that's Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, and England, it was 5%. It's, it's a little bit less. Okay. Uh, but it, it also depends on what you're talking about anxiety is, and, and there's different symptoms of anxiety. So their, their statistics could be more narrowed down is why. Okay. Um, these statistics that we have are, are including other symptoms. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but you know, uh, there are so many people suffering from it. And I really believe that it's, it's the way our lives are. It's very fast paced right. and our brains, you know, we're all doing this stuff like you and I here, we're on live streaming and we're learning all this technology. We're going as fast as we can in our businesses to be mm -hmm. up to date and so we're always, always trying to uh, be faster and better. That's well, true. our brains can process that. However, the problem is, is I see with our emotions, our emotions, we don't process that fast. Okay. That makes sense. And yeah, when, when something happens to you emotionally, uh, I mean, you know, whether it's anger, sadness, fear, we have to take that and we have to process it. And we have to understand why am I angry or why am I fearful? Uh, and this is also goes with anxiety. Why am I anxious? Why am I feeling anxious today? Mm -hmm. And it takes time to process that. It's not something that where you can go and you have a problem and you go right to solution. Right. It's where you have to process it. Find out, yeah, where did my anxiety start? Why do I feel anxious? And then going through that process of understanding that and then being able to find a solution. So, you know, I've been in, in groups, in, in different groups and things. And when you go into a process and then there's no time to reflect about that process, mm -hmm. then, you, then you start getting anxious. Okay. And I, I really see that even in, in certain groups that, when we are doing, we're asking people to, to transform in, in, a, in a class or in a workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to give the people time in the workshop or the class or whatever it is we're doing to reflect about what it is that we're asking them to do. Okay. And I really learned a lot about this moving to Europe because in Europe, uh, a class that I did in, in two days, I, was, I, I had a, a woman look at the class who was a, a natural therapist, and she said, oh, Lori, this is, this is six weekends here in France. Wow. And I'm like, really? Wow. So I realized that, yes, my information could be broke down, could be done in a, sl in a, a slower manner where people could absorb it better. And so now when I teach a workshop, I'm not just trying to give people a lot of stuff. I want them to be able to reflect and to absorb the information and to be able to take it in and see how they feel about it. And that's what emotional healing is about, too, is we have to have time to reflect. Okay. And so today we're going to talk about anxiety and we're going to discuss how we can do this to help people with their anxiety. Okay. So... We hear that word a lot, anxiety, anxiety. What exactly mm -hmm. is it? What, do, what does that word really mean? Well, you know, anxiety is a feeling of an uneasiness. Uh, it's like when you're worrying too much or you're very fearful, and it can be mild or severe. Uh, we know when it's gotten into the severe state uh, is when we're always worrying constantly all day. And every day we all have some kind of anxiety about something where whether it's getting on this live stream right. and we're going to hit the button right this right. time you know or say we're going for a job interview or we're taking a test that's normal kind of anxiety but yeah. when you have anxiety all day long and you're worrying about this and you're worrying about that or you're fearful of this and you can't do your everyday things mm -hmm. that's when it becomes a problem okay i see I see. So what are several conditions where anxiety can be the main symptom? Well, some symptoms of anxiety is panic disorder. Uh, it also can be phobia, such as claustrophobia. Uh, it can be uh, post-traumatic uh, stress syndrome. 
okay. uh, disorder, excuse me, PTSD. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people are suffering from that, from uh, being veterans. They're suffering from this. And right. uh, this is something that we have to really look at and be conscious of. In fact, I was just reading an article, and it so, sounds so funny to see an article like this in Tractor Supply. <laughs> Do you even know what Tractor Supply <laughs> is? <laughs> I would imagine it's something for people who live on farms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And I'm on a farm right now here in my right. parents is in California. So they have Tractor Supply magazine. Okay. And in this, in this was talking about uh, uh, PTSD and veterans. And there's a lovely woman who's growing um, old uh, roses. And she's doing this and she's teaching veterans how to uh, use these roses and how to, how to get them to grow properly, right? Okay. And they've built this special nursery uh, with all these roses, these old time roses. And if you notice, a lot of roses now don't even smell. Well, in this project that she has, they're using the old roses and they smell beautifully. And they're having results because just by them working with the roses, they're seeing they're having less anxiety just by wow. smelling the roses and working with them. Uh -oh. So we wow. can see how nature really can help us. And it was funny because I was just reading this article yesterday and then we're doing this today. Right. So I thought it's a really, to bring this up, just how scent has that effect on our brains and just them working with the roses and smelling them and caring for them and nurturing them, they are releasing their anxiety. So we can see how gardening can help us in this way. Um, so those are some of the symptoms. Okay, that's great. And can this cause mental and physical symptoms as well? Yes, it can. Um, some of your uh, physical symptoms that you can have when you have anxiety is you have trouble sleeping. Mm -hmm. uh, you also, uh, you feel fretful, you know, not being able to concentrate, you're worried all the time irritated constantly on edge is a lot of times you, know, you don't know why you're so edgy uh, a mm -hmm. sense of dread where you maybe you don't want to go to your work anymore you you're having a problem with that so mm -hmm. find it difficult to be social with your friends and family these are also uh some mental symptoms of why that ca can cause you to have anxiety okay some of the okay and what about the physical symptoms well the physical symptoms you can have heart palpitations people oh god racing of the heart you know i recently had a uh, my own personal self had something where my marketing manager is moving to ireland my daughter's going to be moving away to high school i had all these people leaving you know like my little nest right <laughs> that i've been with for like 11 and a half years and that evening, uh, all of a sudden, I felt my chest was very heavy. And I teased my husband and my daughter and said, oh, you know, tomorrow, you know, you guys can just bury me in the garden, right? I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was I got uh, in the bath uh, the next morning and I did some deep breathing. I put, rose, I put three drops of rose essential oil in the bath with me. Okay. And I asked myself, Lori, you know, what is this heavy chestness about? And it was about really um, letting them go. Right. And, and so you can see how when things are happening in your life, you need to take time for yourself, like I said before, and really look at what it is that's causing you to have a heavy chest or to feel anxious, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we can see how ro one essential oil is rose that can help with, with when you're feeling anxious and there's many others, but I'll continue on with the physical symptoms. You also have, you can have dizziness, tiredness, uh, muscle aches and tension. Uh, you can have trembling or shaking also. Uh, some people, you know, they don't understand why they're shaking and trembling. Mm. Shortness of breath, a stomach ache. Of course, that's one of the biggest ones when people have anxiousness, mm. a headache, you know, when stress starts coming on, they start feeling anxious, they get a headache. Also, mm -hmm. they can feel little pins and needles in their body, through their body, and insomnia. They have a difficult time sleeping. Insomnia, it seems to be, is almost epidemic at this point because 
I, I'm I'm one of the people that it's really hard for me to fall asleep. So I'm up a lot and I'm on social media. And I know that's terrible because they say shut up your devices. I'm hard headed. But so many people are awake in the middle of the night. Hey, who else is up? You know? <laughs> <Because> <laughs> we sat <Exactly. we> <laughs> So that is very real. And obviously it's linked to anxiety. And it makes sense. You can't rest. You don't you're not relaxing because you're anxious, your brain's going. So it makes perfect sense. Right. So, and does it um Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Lori. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to say, does anybody in, in our audience have any of these kind of challenges that they're dealing with and they have any questions for us too? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You guys don't hesitate to put any questions in the comment box because what we don't address today, we can certainly address later. Lori's going to send out a Q and a PDF file after the Facebook live. Okay. Yeah, and we'll need we'll need your email addresses to be able to do that or make sure that you're our friends. So that way we can send it to you at least by messenger because that's really important uh, for the questions that you have today. And please, uh, oh, I see that Sue's on. Hi, Sue. How are you? And Marissa mm -hmm. is. Uh, it's great having you guys here with us today because this is a very important topic, uh, anxiety. So what else can trigger anxiety? Well, you know, um, if say, for example, you have a phobia like claustrophobia and uh, you know that it, it causes this kind of problem for you, you can feel anxious. But when you understand where it comes from and because I have a little bit of that, too, you know, we all have our little things. Mm -hmm. And so there's there's this escalator in Paris that we go up in Bercy, Paris, and it look it's very, 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 very long. So it looks like and it's not going to happen, but it looks like the ceiling's coming down on your head as you get right. closer. Right. So the first right. time I went up, it, you know, I had my husband in front of me, <laughs> so I couldn't really look at it. Then right. after that, I was OK with it. But we all have to understand if we do have phobias, how to handle them mm -hmm. and this is what can like that, you know, it was a trigger for me, for example. Now also, um, knowing, not knowing what your, your trigger is, is, is the problem when you have general anxiety disorder. Okay. It's because if you don't know the trigger, like I knew mine was, I'm a little claustrophobia. I have a little bit of claustrophobia that, mm -hmm. um, and I know how to handle it then because again, it was the same thing in elevators, you know, in France, people pile in the elevators and they push up against you, you know, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> right, <laughs> where in right. the States people keep their distance more, you know, yes. it's different so in different places. Mm -hmm. When you have more space, you keep your distance more. When you have less space, of course you come in closer. Up close and, and personal. <laughs> <laughs> up close and very personal. <laughs> So when you don't know what your triggers are, then the anxiety gets worse and you, you start feeling, um, it, it, it enhances the anxiety. It, it just makes it worse. So it's really, really important that you find out where your anxiety is coming from. Is it, is, are you having panic attacks, but where's that panic attack coming from? Is it because you have had a severe trauma? Uh, is it because you have a phobia? What is it? You've got to find the reason why, and you've got to take the time, you know, just like I did getting that bathtub with that rose essential oil. Mm -hmm. That's so enlightening because I am very phobic of several different things, but the claustrophobia is one for me, but not the enclosed spaces. Elevators don't bother me, things like that. But I cannot sit on the inside on an airplane. I have to be on the aisle. I, I kind oh, of yes. have this you're being trapped kind of thing. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I cannot wait for to have some sessions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I, need I can't wait for you to be, because we're going to be in Virginia at the, at the workshop and we're going to be talking Absolutely. about all this, you know, that's what Absolutely. the workshop's about. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, I can't wait to have you in the workshop. Yes. <laughs> help me, Lori, help me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so what are some self-help suggestions for those of us who are dealing with these situations? Well, you know, um, one of the things is behavioral therapy. Uh, if you have severe anxiety, you really do need to see a therapist. Um, I'm not one who's uh, going to tell you not to see a therapist because I think that's really, really important. And behavioral therapy helps you understand what it is and then how to behave around it, you know, how to work through it. 
And so this can be very, very, you also, there's online, there's online books about it. There's also online courses where you can meet with a therapist once or twice a week or once a month to help you go through this process. Okay. That's, that's enlightening. Mm -hmm. And I've heard exercise helps. Is that true? Yes, exercise does help, especially um, aerobic exercise, such as running, walking very fast, you know, uh, also swimming. Uh, you can do tennis. Tennis is really great for that. Uh, football, rugby, hiking, you know, get yourself out and just walk. If people would just right. get out and walk five minutes one day and the next day they walk 10 minutes, you know, and just kind of add more and more. Because what happens is it sends off a, a message to your brain through serotonin. It helps okay. you feel better when you exercise. And so this is, uh, and of, of course, uh, aerobic exercise. And this okay. is why it's so important to do something that gets you really going, your heart moving. Okay. That's good to know. Now let's talk about diet. I've heard too much mm -hmm. caffeine um, can make you more anxious than normal. Is this because caffeine disrupts your sleep or, and speeds up your heartbeat? If you're tired, you're less likely to be able to control your anxious feelings. Is that the case? Yes, it is. Uh, it, that is definitely uh, avoid drinking any kind of soft drinks uh, with caffeine, caffeine, coffee, tea, energy drinks. All those Red Bulls, get rid of those because it, what it does is it just it will just speed up that that anxiety. And when you stop that, it will help reduce your anxiety levels. And this might seem like a no brainer, but for our audience, what about drinking and smoking? <laughs> that is definitely a yes that you should not <laughs> be drinking and smoking when you have anxiety. It will just amplify it. I know everyone says, oh, I just need a glass of wine to relax me. Well, it could, it just depends on your situation, but it's, it's best not to, uh, to be drinking and smoking when you have anxiety, find out the cause, uh, right. get your, you know, deal with it and find a solution for it before you start back uh, drinking and smoking. <laughs> so now that we've talked about what we want to avoid, how can the flower essences and the essential oils, how can they really help us? Well, you know, um, essential oils and flower essences can help us to relax and calm our nervous system. And the reason is because they contain chemical constituents which work directly on the nervous system. And this morning I was just looking at a study done showing how essential oils really do work and calm the nervous system. And the one that in the study they were talking about is lavender. And lavender is the, my love of essential oils because my, my, yeah. Do you like lavender too? I keep it in my purse with me at all times. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yes. And the thing is, is lavender was the essential oil that brought me into aromatherapy and really got me interested because I was at a health food store with my family mm -hmm. and we found this little tiny book you know, um, basic essential oils. I don't even remember the name of the book now. Mm -hmm. And it talked about lavender, how you could put it in your bath every night to calm and, you know, sedate you and help you sleep and rest. So I thought, what the heck? Mm -hmm. So I, we bought lavender. We bought clary sage and geranium is what we bought. Bought three oils. And I've got some lavender right here with me. Mm. It smells so good. Right. <laughs> And what happened was uh, we put, started putting 10 drops in the bath each evening. And my son had stuttered since the age of four, and he was now nine years of age. And so this was hard on him. It was hard. And he didn't stutter on sounds. It was on words. If someone asked him a question, he'd say, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see. This is what he would say. And, you know, people aren't so um, kind in that way. Yes. And they're not very patient. Right. You know, they try to finish a sentence for him, and then it makes you where you don't really want to speak, and it, right. and it causes anxiety for so you, huh? Can it see really that. does. Mm -hmm. So by putting his 10 drops of uh, lavender in his bath, he stopped stuttering in one month. Wow. Yeah. Really? So I thought to myself, because I was already doing iridology and herbalism and flower essences, mm -hmm. and I thought, wow. If this can do that for my son, I have to find out more about it. You know, I, I really have to find out more. And I, I can't um, 
stop wanting to learn about essential oils. It just drove me and drove me. And so this was in like 1992 at the time. Mm -hmm. And I just really felt that if, if I could add essential oils to my existing programs for my clients, mm -hmm. I could just, they could have such a better program and have a faster healing effects with essential oils. So lavender, the reason why lavender calms the body is it contains two chemical constituents, okay. uh, linol acetate and linenol. And these two chem chemical constituents are what make the calming and uh, sedating effects on the nervous system of the body. Okay. And like, and all you have to do is just take, you know, uh, I've got lavender right here and this is lavandula and gustafolia. This is not lavandula latifolia. You got to know which one to use because some are, there's different lavenders and there's lavendine. Oh. And this is why it's so important that you know the botanical name of the essential oil that you're using. And this is lavandula angustifolia. And this is, has the highest amount of those two chemical kits constituents that I just told you about, mm -hmm. linenol and linol acetate. So, you just take, what you can do is if you're feeling anxious, mm -hmm. you can just take a short sniff from your bottle mm -hmm. like this, breathe it in. And then after that, you can take some deep breaths. All right. Okay. And it really helps to relax you. You can put 10 drops in the bath with you. If you're going to do that, you're going to make sure that, you know, you do a figure eight in the bath, in the bath water, because uh -huh. remember essential oils and water don't mix, do they? Right. So you need to blend and, the bit. Yeah. Gotcha. You've got to mix it in there. Otherwise, you're going to get all the lavender on your rear end. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> yeah, what a waste. I just don't want it on my rear end. <laughs> and then okay. if you're an adult, if you're an adult, you can put 23 drops of lavender in one ounce of carrier oil. And you can, you know, massage it on your temples, the back of your neck, your okay. chest, your solar plexus and the bottoms of your feet. And you can do that, you know, twice a day. And what I like to do is just keep lavender in my purse. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you another real quick little story because this happened yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. My mother was, she was getting ready to come swimming with me and they have a patio area that's all wood and has three steps. So she stepped the two first two steps and she missed the last step and she fell on the cement on her right side. Oh, wow. I was in the swimming pool right below her. So I jumped out of the swimming pool and I said, mom, you want me to take you to the house or put you in the pool? Because she was skinned up and she had twisted her ankle. So it was all swollen. Wow. So she said, I want to be in the swimming pool. Get me in the swimming pool because it's cold. I said, okay. So I got her on the first step of the swimming pool and we, I ran in the house, told my dad, he got a swimsuit on. Uh, I grabbed lavender I grabbed Rescue Remedy, and I grabbed Hilichrism, okay? And when in, in aromatherapy, we only use essential oils neat directly on the skin when it's an acute situation, like an emergency that she was in, mm -hmm. or you've had a headache, you get a headache, and you can use it, but you always have to do a patch skin test before you ever put any essential oil because you can burn yourself. You can really damage yourself and hurt yourself if you don't. Okay. So this is why it's so important. And it's only for an acute situation like this, an emergency. Mm -hmm. So my mother uses, these are her bottles of, of essential oils here and they're, they're organic. And she, um, has these in her house everywhere because we all are, the whole family uses essential oils. Okay. And so what I did is I got her in the water I put helichrysum immediately on her knee and her ankle because she had sprained the ankle. The knee was scraped. Helichrysum is anti-inflammatory. It's analgesic. And also it helps with the shock and trauma emotionally. Okay? Okay. The lavender then is to relax her and calm her because she was not breathing. You know, when you get hurt, you tighten up, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to get her to release and to relax... I put the lavender on top of the helichrysum. I also took those noodles, you know, that you use in the swimming pool. Noodles, mm hmm Yeah, those noodles. And I put those underneath her knee. So that way she could lay down, see, in the pool, underneath her ankle. Mm -hmm. 
And my dad held her back and I was at her feet. And then what we did is we put the ice on there after you put the essential oils on. And then I held her knee and her ankle and worked on her with her breathing and just had her keep breathing, 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 getting her to relax, getting her to send her energy into her leg, into her knee, into her foot. Okay. Because what happens is, and it happens with elderly people, they're more anxious when they get hurt. Right. right. You know? Mm -hmm. And this is what was happening with her yesterday. And so as she was breathing, we we're getting her to relax. She got better, you know, then she was able to, to release it, let it go. Mm -hmm. And now this it's, and then the next morning I got up this morning and there was the, the blood vessels in the ankle had swollen up a little bit. And I said, all we've got to do is just thank you guys for joining. We have more people joining us now too. <laughs> and, and that's great. Uh, and I just put the helichrysum on the area there where she had uh, these blood vessels popping up in her ankle. Mm -hmm. And I said, Mom, this is going to really help with the microcirculation. And sure enough, I put ice on it and that. And one hour later, those were completely down. Wow. And she's laughing about it. You know, she's making jokes about, you know, I'm the, the person who <laughs> falls down, you know, <laughs> all this stuff. So you can see how you can use essential oils for these kinds of things. Because when we have a physical shock, we also have an emotional shock too, don't we? Mm -hmm. And it can cause us to be anxious because my mother recently has had things, she's had some falls. And so it made her more anxious when she fell. And I think that by using the essential oils so quickly, and let me talk about the flower essences, because remember in this, this workshop we're doing in October, we are using flower essences. And the one I grabbed was Rescue Remedy. Okay. And I gave that four drops under her tongue too. And that helps release the stress and the trauma and it helps with anxiety. So I think that these things are very helpful to us along with therapy, exercise, diet, mm -hmm. essential oils are phenomenal. And there's something that we can help each other really uh, get better with. Mm -hmm. I think that is so cool. I mean, I'm already a lover of essential oils, but when I hear stories like that, and this is real life stuff that happens. And, yeah. And the beauty of it is that it's so immediate. It's so quick, you know, that you see the results. And it's just, I'd really love more people to take the time to get some knowledge, even just basic knowledge for situations like that. If, if a little one falls, if an elderly person falls, you can help them quickly and not make it much bigger problem than it needs to be. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, she told she calls me her EMT now. <laughs> I guess you could call me the EMT with essential oils. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll just make the e essential, not emergency. <laughs> yeah, essential, exactly. Essential. You're right. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's great. <laughs> so you were recently in Florida teaching essential emotional healing with essential mm -hmm. oils essences. So what exactly is this amazing training that I've been hearing nothing but good things about? Well, this, this training is going to help people with important issues such as, you know, patterns or habits or situations that uh, they're dealing with. And then what we do is I give them a process because remember, I'm talking about processing. We have to be able to process our emotions. And in this class, they are finding one situation that they want to work on and they're processing that and then they're making an appropriate blend. Somebody else is because they're teaming up with somebody else. Uh, okay. Appropriate blend for them to help them get through this. And we have seen a lot of transformation from our students about in, from taking this workshop with essential oils and flower essences. Okay. Yes, I know that we've... Um share some amazing testimonials. So who exactly will benefit from this workshop? Anybody can, can benefit from this. It could be somebody who is uh, never touched essential oils before, or it could be an advanced student or another aromatherapist. Anybody can benefit from this workshop. I'm going to share some testimonials that we have. Um, we have one from Marsha Bird. She says, I attended in April. I recently helped my 70-year-old, recently widowed neighbor who suffers with anxiety attacks 
by giving her a roll-on blend from Lori's recipes. She just called me and asked for more. I must find my notes as soon as this session is over. <laughs> Diane Maurici, I hope I said that properly. I really recommend the class, Life Changer. <clears throat> and then we have uh, Linda Cantor from Wyoming. Your class is giving me the tools to use more essential oils. I'm teaching two oil classes at a local hospital. I'm studying your materials and you really set the stage for that. I'm so glad I took your class, it was so great. Your books are so good and usable. I was so impressed with your class. I certainly came home with so much more than the, the cost. You are amazing. I'm so glad I got to meet you and consider you one of the most gifted and loving souls in this business. And I really mean that. Have a great day. That's a beautiful sentiment. Very, oh, very that's nice. so nice, huh? Very nice. Um, Shirley Klaus from New Jersey. My eyes were open to many new techniques for emotional healing. The essential oil blends made in the class led me to more understanding about how to use flower essences and essential oils. Then learning how to reshape a negative personal story are some of the valuable things that I learned in the Emotional Healing Workshop with Lori Hargis. So thankful that I will receive the recording of this as well because it was packed with valuable information on emotional healing that I will share in the near future. Very, very nice. So those are three, four beautiful testimonials. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been really great. Oh, hi. Hi, there's so many more, more people have gotten on now. And, and we, now I'd like to ask them if they have uh, questions about anxiety and essential oils. That's great. Yes, if anyone has any questions, we won't be able to answer everything during the Facebook Live, but please put it in a comment box along with your email address. And Lori will send out a Q&A PDF file to everyone who puts in a question and their email address. Uh, or even if you don't have a question, you just want to get the file. Just give us your email address and we'll make sure you get a copy. Yeah, that would be great. That would be so awesome. And I want to thank you guys for being on this with us because we're, we want you guys to share this, this live streaming and with anybody that you know who has anxiety or has someone in their family or friends. And that way they can learn how to use essential oils and work on the other things that we've discussed too, the exercise, diet, and therapy. Yes, because if you're just joining, um, Lori gave us some great tips on how to deal with anxiety, even in just everyday life. And then she talked a little bit about the essential oils, but even the part about what to do, what to avoid, those tips are helpful. So go back and watch the beginning so you can get that and share with anyone that you know who may have anxiety, which is practically all of humanity. So <laughs> <laughs> We know at least 18% statistic-wise. <laughs> they don't know. They didn't ask everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so Lori, when are you? Well, you're in the U.S. now, and I know. You're yes, I am for my vacation, my <laughs> my yearly summer vacation. So awesome! So you'll be going home to France. So when are you coming back to the U.S. after that? I'm going to come back on October 22nd to be with you. <laughs> yes. And I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait to have the emotional healing uh, with essential oils and flower essences here in Alexandria, Virginia, in the Washington, D.C. area. It's going to be in Old Town, very accessible to the metro station. It's right outside of the King Street Metro. If you're flying in, it's right near Washington uh, Reagan National Airport. So there's no excuse for you not to be there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> no excuse not to be there. Okay. So what languages will the workshop be offered in? Well, uh, it's going to be in English and in Spanish. And uh, Julissa Hernandez, uh, who's a naturopathic doctor and author, she's going to be translating, excuse me, interpreting for me. <laughs> the information, though, is, is both written in English and in Spanish. Okay. So if you are Spanish, you're more than welcome to come. Plus, you are fluent in Spanish and French and German, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> so, so we have plenty of people there who can speak Spanish, and we are very happy to have Spanish and English-speaking people. Uh, last time we did, and it turned out beautifully, uh, Julissa has translated now, now for me. This will be the third time, mm -hmm. and she does a beautiful job. 
And it's just like having some, you know, it's just like the words come out of my mouth and, and she's just got it right there perfectly in Spanish. So that's great. Uh, it's, that's really great. And then we'll have you there too. And so all Spanish speaking people are welcome. Yes, all are welcome. So, okay, let's say for some strange reason they can't get there, is online an option? Yes, it is. We're going to have live streaming. And that is a 70, I think it's a hundred dollars live streaming is, okay. uh, you can go to my site, uh, www.lauriehargis.com okay. and you can go in there and you will see on the blog, you will see where there's the emotional healing and you can get signed up oh, for great. the class, great. which is 175 right now. Mm -hmm. And you can get signed up for the live streaming if you can't make it. Okay. Uh, we, <laughs> We also are going to uh, give you the recording when you sign up for the live streaming and the class. And of course, you have all the course notes too. You have a booklet that comes with the emotion. So that way you can go home and do it yourself, uh, continue working on yourself and working with people to your friends, family, helping them. That's great. So online participants get the full benefit just like if they're in the class. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And we've had people who say it really helped them in their relationships uh, at home. Uh, they did it. If you do it live streaming, you need to make sure that you do it. You partner up. So both people sign up, get signed up. And we had people do it and they really loved it. Uh, they got the benefits of it just as if they were there. So if you can't make it to Virginia, please get on the live streaming too. But we'd like to have you there live because yeah. it's a lot of fun live. I'm such an in-person learner. I try online stuff, but I need to <laughs> the smell. I need to do all of that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And it, it's it's wonderful. You can be there, uh, and we play a lot of music and things like that too. So it's 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 a good. It's a really wonderful workshop. Yes, I am sure. We do have one person who shared a testimony who took the um, attended online. Guillermo Garcon from California. He said his relationship with friends and family improved from the new techniques and from information that he learned about essential oils in the emotional healing workshop. So that's, that's reason to participate if no other improve relationships. That's amazing. I mean, that's, that's the most important in our lives, isn't it? To, mm -hmm. to have, to enjoy our relationships and to have fun with others and really be there for them, you know, Absolutely. be in the present moment in our relationships. That's really important. Exactly, exactly. So here's the information for those of you who are sitting with bated breath, October 22nd from 1.30 to 6.30. Like I said, it will be at the Hilton in Old Town, Alexandria, near the King Street Metro. The cost is $175. However, if you purchase today, hmm, listen to this. If you purchase yeah. today, you will receive Lori's booklet, Using Common Sense for Free, delivered to your door. So if there was no other reason to register today, there is one. A free Lori's booklet using common sense shipped right to you. So we're also having a drawing for a free seat to anyone who gives us their email address and would like to participate to be in our Emotional Healing with Essential Oils Facebook group today. So again, today is the day to take some action. It yes. will be in our next live streaming. So the winner will announce on our next live stream the first Wednesday of September, which is September 6th. Okay? Right. So you guys need to get your emails to Lori so that you can get um, entered into the drawing. We're going to give away one free seat, right? One free ticket. Yep. And then everyone who signs up today, you can get a free Using Common Sense booklet. Right. All right. Good. Okay, great. So again, go to LoriHargis.com, correct? Mm-hmm. L -O -R -I yes, exactly. Hargis, H A R G I S dot com to get signed up. And today for Lori ends earlier than our today. So I <laughs> 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 need to get in there today. Well, let's go with Eastern time, midnight Eastern time. How's that? <laughs> yeah, midnight Eastern time. They need go. to get the email to us. That would be great. Okay. That awesome. would be super if they get the email to us. Uh, yeah, midnight Pacific time is perfect. Okay. And then they need to let us know too. Uh, hear everyone who's on. And Letitia, thank you for joining us now. Uh, and Lydia, thank you for uh, the comp the compliments. Uh, 
what what I'd like you guys to do is let me know if you want to be in our Emotional Healing with Essential Oils Facebook group. Okay. Because we'll have this Facebook group, and so we'll be giving tips and point uh, pointers on how to use essential oils for emotional healing and flower essences in this Facebook group. So uh, before the the course, the workshop starts. So get that in there, and that way, then you can have a chance to have the seat, a free seat. Mm -hmm. in our workshop October 22nd and I can't wait to be there with you me too I cannot wait for you to get there <laughs> we are just so excited to have you so I want everyone to to understand what the opportunity is if you join the emotional healing with essential oils Facebook group you will be entered into the drawing to attend the workshop for free so this is big so go mm -hmm. ahead tell us your information so we can get you in the Facebook group you can comment on this video at any time. Just tell us what that you want to join because we'll keep monitoring that. And um, if you register for the class today, you'll get a free Using Common Sense booklet. Okay. Exactly. That's, That's perfect. Good. That's perfect. Good. And um, what was else <laughs> I was going to say to you? It's September. What was it the date? September 6th is when we will announce the person who gets the free seat. Exactly. So you have to you have to get in there now so that you can enjoy all the benefits for the next month of the tips that we'll be sharing in the Emotional Healing Facebook group. So, you know, we're only able to do this live once a month, but we want to keep giving you guys all this great information on a regular basis. So join the group. Exactly. They got to join our group because we're, you and I are going to be in there giving all kinds <laughs> of tips and helping them out with essential oils with for emotional healing and and flower essences essential oils and flower essences for emotional healing so i can't wait to see you all in that facebook group it's yes. going to be a great group and i can't wait mostly to see you in our workshop on october 22nd absolutely so once i'm in the group i'm going to start inviting people because i know there are some people who want to be in there and they may not see the live stream so i'm gonna okay in there We'll, we'll get them in there, and we're going to have a great group, and mm -hmm. we're going to have a great workshop. Absolutely. So you guys get registered, get in the group so you can maybe win a, a free seat. But Tish, you, didn't, you missed the fun, but go back and watch the replay. <laughs> yeah, and Tish, make sure that we have your email address and get in that group. And everybody who's on the live streaming, make sure that you get in our group because it's, it's going to be a great group, and we're going to have a wonderful workshop. Absolutely. All right, Lori, as always, a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure, too. And you know what? Wait just one minute. I have a formulation oh. uh, for an anxiety spray real quick for oh. everyone. Oh, let me get my tablet. Yep, get your tablet out. Uh, I wrote this down right before we got started, and I just looked down and went, oh, my goodness. I didn't tell everyone this. So here's a little spray that you can spray in your room. It's a room spray. And if you're feeling anxious about something, you're having a party, uh, here's something you can do. You can do 23 drops of grapefruit, 19 drops of lavender, and four drops of patchouli. Now, grapefruit is very uplifting. It helps with soothing. It's, it's good for anxiety, too. And lavender is soothing and calming. Patchouli is very grounding, and it also has been known for anxiousness. So, and you're going to do it in two ounces of water. Put it in your two-ounce uh, amber spray bottle or blue cobalt spray bottle. Shake that up, and then spray it in all four corners of the room. Okay. So you said 23 drops of grapefruit. How much? You said patchouli. 19 right? drops of lavender. 19 lavender. My tablet was acting up. Okay, 19 lavender. Okay. And four drops of patchouli in two ounces of water. And okay. remember, because essential oils and water don't mix, you're going to have to shake it up before you spray it and spray it in all four corners of the room. Okay. Great. So that's our last little tip of the day. And you guys all get signed up. Get in our Facebook group. We can't wait to have you in there. And thank you so very much. I really appreciate you interviewing me. And I can't wait to see you on September 6th again. Absolutely. Thank you for all the fabulous information. And you enjoy the rest of your vacation. Okay, I am. My husband's waiting on me. <laughs> okay. You guys take care and have fun. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.